afternoon sorry hopefully you won't hear too much of that today that was it's not it's not as bad as that sounded i'm actually getting better now but yeah thanks for joining us um gutted absolutely gutted i can't be there today and i got it for my boy as well because he wanted to tick that one off we don't predominantly have do we as mill fans let's be honest sell out away games so they're always brilliant when they do happen and for me today it hasn't happened. Some of you are also not there. And you're asking me, you can watch the game. Okay. Fuck it, I'll tell you, right? This is how you do it. If you want to watch um, the game on iFollow, you have to... It costs money, though. That's the only thing. So how you do it is you go to... A, I, mean, it's, I, don't mean, I don't think it's a big secret. Most people know. There's a thing called VPN. It's basically... You can get, find seven-day trial ones for free. But after seven days, you have to start paying for it. Download an app on your phone or whichever device you're going to watch the game on called VPN. And then what you do is you go onto that VPN and you, you turn it on. But you don't turn it on. You don't say you're in England. You say you're in any other country in the world. Okay. And then once you've done that, you go on to iFollow and, 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 the, and the iFollow will think you're abroad. And it will allow you to buy a video match pass. So there you go, Boise and a few others who are interested to know. Um, that is how that happens. That's how that fucking works, right? Cough it up. I don't know what's happening to the camera there as well. The camera's I've given I've given my own camera COVID. It just keeps flashing white. Well, it's not done that once, and I've been sitting here absolutely ages just waiting to start. Um, John Robertson, brave man doing this. It's appreciated. No worries. Do you know what? I, I needed to do this. I, I was in bed for if you are just joining the stream, you don't know. I've got I've got COVID. Um, I fucking nag. My old man's got COVID as well. Luckily, he's been double jabbed. But I um, Monday I saw my kids. Monday I saw the kids after school. Took a McDonald's, dropped them off. I got them about six. I thought, oh, I feel rough. So I um, thought I'm gonna have to lay down. And I had to go work Tuesday. I think it was. I was supposed to go work. Or no, so, sorry. I saw the kids Tuesday. Supposed to go work Wednesday. That's right. And I was laid in my bed and I started like um. Well, sweating, freezing cold, boiling hot. Um, I'm hot again now. I've got to go the window, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Um, freezing cold, boiling hot. And all through the night, I, I kept waking myself up, shouting stuff out. I was hallucinating and um, I, was, I was like delirious. 
And um, the, the, what he's going on with his camera, the first 24 hours was, was the worst because I just felt like I needed to throw up. And I hate, I hate, obviously, no one enjoys being sick, but I just couldn't throw up. And uh, oh, so I was in the right state. But um, I've been quite ill. And this morning is probably the, what is going on with that camera? The lighting's not moving either, so I can't work out why that keeps happening, to be honest with you. But I'm sure we will get through it anyway. But I'm here. I'm functioning. And, and I've done this for you, course, I, but also I've done it for myself because I've just been laying, staring at the fucking wall for days. And this will give me a little bit of um, purpose. Hopefully three points. Um, and Robbie's agreeing. All oh, right, Dan, I hope you're feeling better. I am feeling a bit better, man. I still, I've not really spoke a lot, so it might not sound like I'm great, but I feel all right. I'm just, just a little bit tired now. Um, throat's a bit dry. So no, I've, I've, I've finally, by the way, after five days, I've lost my sense of taste now and smell. So if you fart, it's all right. Yeah, they didn't have a slip more tickets, did they? And people were saying, well, so-and-so went and took 4,000. I think that's always planned of us. I think it's, a, it's about it, right. It's going to have to be a bigger police presence, isn't there? Um, big D, the big C. Fair play for today, Gita. No worries, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Joanne Cooper, I hope Danny had a good birthday. Um, and it's the same starting lineup. Mad Mike, you are correct. Let's put it on the screen. It's already ticking along the bottom of the screen. The start on 11. But here is today's squad. Bartosz Balkowski, Danny McNamara, Murray Wallace, Sean Hutchinson, Jake Cooper, Jeb Wallace, Tom Bradshaw. Um, that camera thing's doing that again. You can't see it, but he's doing it. Uh, Tom Bradshaw, Scott Malone, Bennett Gafoe, Billy Mitchell, and George Evans with George Long, Mikhail Kiefton Bell, Matt Smith, Shea Ojo, Alex Pierce, George Savile, and Mason Bennett on the bench, Ryan Leonard, and uh, Connor Mahoney, the only injury. Surely Mahoney will leave the club now as well. Um, in January, along with Ben Thompson. What is going on with that camera? I'll have to change that a second. Doesn't matter. You, you lot can't see anything from me. You can see it's also on the screen, don't worry, but just trying to freshen the camera up. Um, what do we mean in terms of starting 11? Well, here it is. It's unchanged for the team that beat Birmingham 3 1 last week. Bolkowski in goal, flat back three. Cooper, well, not, that's not Danny Cooper, by the way, although I'm sure he could play there one day. Um, Jake Cooper. Left side of a back three, Murray Wallace in the centre, Sean Hutchinson on the right, Danny McNamara right wing back, Scott Lone left wing back, Billy Mitchell and George Evans, the new preferred central midfield pairing with Jed in the 10 in support of four in six and out of contract in six months, Tom Bradshaw and Benick Afobe. Someone asked me a very good question the other week, the other day on the live stream for the Crystal Palace FA Cup uh, when we decided we got them. And it would it was, would you rather have would you rather re-sign Bradshaw or sign a phobe? It's a great question, but I think I would have to say re-sign Bradshaw because, um, well, because he, he scores more goals. But good question. Close call. And um, I'm just going to put a bet on because last night I'll put £5 on Watford to win at halftime, Brentford to be winning at full time and about and Watford were winning at half time, in case you don't know. And about 10 minutes to go, I thought Brentford ain't scoring for in a month of Sundays here. Yeah? And I was getting tired. I started getting a little bit delirious again. So I laid laid down, turned over, woke up about midnight, and it was still whatever time it was, it was still showing the replay. And boom, uh, sorry, Brentford won two one. So a £137 of a five pound bet. Um had a little bash on the tennis this morning, done all right, got it to about 200, just laying it bored. I don't usually sit and do this anymore, but and then, um, and then I've done Man City minus two, which would have put me to like four hundred quid, and they fucked me over. So, um, well, unless they scored two like in the last last minute, but it's um, I don't think it's happened. So I'm going to go for a meal win today. Good odds on us to win the game. I have said three three as my um, preview. I think there'll be goals in it. We should win this game. And if we do win this game, I was just looking, Coventry have just equalised at the last minute against Huddersfield. So we sit in eighth. We can't go above eighth because Coventry will now be four points above us. Um, but we can we can really sort of we can really sort of close in, can't we? We can really sort of get there. And um it's looking rosy. We win that today and then we beat Preston at home next Saturday. We are sitting very pretty before the Christmas break. Lots of games, of course, coming up 
over the Christmas break. Um, we're only 40 minutes, sorry, 20 minutes away from kickoff. And that's really pissing me off, this camera. It's been absolutely fine. Now it's playing games. It wants, look, why is it playing games? Might have to look into that. Let me, um, unless it's gone loose, let me run a couple of adverts while that does try to sort its fucking life out or I'll have to smash it up. It's only other option. Changeangel.io is a wallet-to-wallet, <laughs> non-custodial swap exchange created by the community for the community. It only takes seconds to sign up. And better still, you can log in using Antum ID or Digi ID, powered by Digibyte blockchain technology. When utilizing the Change Angel platform, you know that your transaction is secure, as well as fast. And if you ever have any questions, our support team is available 24-7. Change Angel has many great coins and will donate a portion of swap revenue to the non-ICO coins listed on our swap exchange to help enhance the project's development. We unite all projects to work together and raise cryptocurrency awareness by organizing, sponsoring, and attending events worldwide. We invest in blockchain-centric projects. Ready to make a change? Help unite communities? Support your favorite projects? Choose changeangel.io. The swap exchange for social good. It's official. Lions TV has gone global. Welcome to our latest sponsor from the other side of the world, Elite Words. Elite Words is a Sydney, Australia based communication service specializing in copywriting and content strategy. They're looking at cracking into the UK market. So if you know anyone that needs writing, content strategy, copy editing, or copywriting for blog posts, newsletters, feature stories, websites, or brochures. Hit them up on these platforms. It's official. Lions TV has gone global. Welcome to our latest sponsor. From <laughs> Sorry, I was talking then. Um, I was about to say, yeah, we're all sorted. Then as I said that, I'm not my microphone over. And then I was about to tell you I'm not the microphone over. I restarted the advert. And I still couldn't manage to get the um I still could manage to sort the camera out. Maybe it's where the maybe it's where the lighting is, and maybe I'm catching the light of it like that. I don't know. But we're all right for a minute. We'll get by, won't we? We'll get by. Bigger bigger issues in our lives at the minute, people. Bigger issues in our lives. Well, maybe we haven't got bigger issues in our lives. We're all sitting waiting for me all to start. And when that does. I'm going to stick with me free, free draw. I think I was a little bit um, delirious. Right, let's have a few comments. Hang on, someone's knocking at the door. All right. So, my dad wants to get an iPhone now. I did, I did tell him an hour ago that I'm going to be live streaming to a lot of people. Next one. Sorry, so I'm trying to trying to get me on my hand so we can watch it as well. I did say don't leave it to the last minute because I'm streaming in a minute. And it's been left to the last minute. Right. So why don't we do a tutorial? Yeah. If anyone <laughs> does want to stream today, you don't know how to, all you do is you type in in Google, me will I follow. It literally is that simple. Bosh, there he is. We all will I follow. Um, it's already there, highlight because I always go on it for him. There we go. Accepts all cookies. Uh, see passes for matches. Yeah, use my switch media login details. There you go. Sorry about this, everyone. Matches, fixtures. I did give him COVID, so I suppose the least I can do is sort his, sort his tick out for him. Just live now. Yeah, just live now. One second. Right, just put your back card details in, it's done. 
you're welcome. Right, sorry, back to it, back to it. Badger, how are we? Cheers for doing this, Dan. Stuck at work, hopefully. You'll be on top form soon. Yes, mate, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Milos Stankovic is going for a free one win. Yeah, I've got three. He's got a ring to it last week as well, by the way, on the it was Barry Fry. Fuck me, he's still knocking about. He looks well as well, the old boy. Um, on the stream last week, a lot of people said 3-1, didn't they? And got it right. Uh, got a feeling it's two all draw. Yeah, I think there's going to be goals. I think there's going to be goals. How's it going? Hope you're feeling better, mate. Thank you very much. I'm at Hussein. I am feeling slightly better. Although, the start of the show's had it. Probably may not think like that. Um, so, so, I'm just trying to sort this lighting out a bit, but a bit better still. That's not good, is it? It was all right where it was, but it kept um, it kept playing games. We don't like to play games, do we? I wasn't happy about who we were playing a few months ago, so I boycotted quit watching them. But the team and certainly Gary Rowe have improved, so I'll be returning back. Come on, you lines. Yeah, listen, I couldn't agree more, mate. And it's not the fact that people go, oh, you've changed your tune. Well, no, I think you'll find Gary Rowe has changed his tune. You know, we, all we want is to see a little bit of a desire a little bit of belief in our players and, and the fact that we can go and have a, you know, have a go have a go at teams, try and get results. Turning up everywhere with your tail between your legs, he's not the meal will weigh. And now he's beat the bullet. He started playing two up front. Or he started to actually, you know, he started to have a little bit of trust in, and faith in his players. And um, longer may it continue. I wasn't at Hull, um, so I can't speak because I wasn't there, but believe that we did approach the game and try and win it. Which is good. Um, you could hear some banging and crash in a minute. Let's go balance that nicely. I can't have that like that. It's just silly. Oh, no banging and crashing. No banging and crashing. Oh, that's going to go. It's going to go off. Oh, no, it's gone off. Off. Right. Let's just leave that there. Stop fucking around with it. It'll have to be what it is. Right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think I agree, mate. It's a different side now, isn't it? It's a different side. How are we still f the absolute catastrophe start of Alia? Knocking things over. Can't get the light in right. I've got COVID. Mailman needs his iPad switched on. I've run two adverts and told you the team. And we've still got 12 minutes. <laughs> Fuck, how's that happen? Uh, John Rankin says, I'm going to be boring and I'm going to go for a 2 1 win to the Lions. Peter Brutter score first. Then we wake up in a second and Jedi and Bradders do the business. He's been a bit off the bar. It's all good now. Everything's all right. I'm happy with the setup. Uh, he's been a little bit off the ball, hasn't he, um, Jed? In my opinion, not been scoring. Not off the boil, but, you know, he hasn't been on the score sheet, which is obviously massive for us if he isn't. Up the posh, says Kevin Barnes. Don't be shy to subscribe, Kev, if you're new to the channel. Glad to hear you're feeling well or building better. North Ants Lions, 4-1 walk. And on the back of that, playoffs. But listen, I used to go, you're all mad, playoffs. If we play every week like we did against Birmingham, and you can't win every week, and you can't perform like that every week, I understand that. But if you go into each game with the same level of belief and confidence, desire, um, tactics, and trust in your players, i.e. Gary Rowett actually believing they can go out and beat teams, which he now seems, we, seems to think we can, where before I didn't think he thought we, we was good enough to win football matches at this, at this level. Um, without, you know, and unless we played ultra defensive, then I don't see why not. I don't see why not. The goals is obviously an issue. However, now, as I said for a long time, three at the back, four at the back, doesn't really matter to me. We need two up front and um, someone in a 10. Um, and, you know, since that's happened, Jed hasn't played really that well, but we've still got results. So if, if Jed clicks in that as well, that's going to be going to be brilliant because you had... Um, a phobie being assisted by Bradshaw at home to Bournemouth. Then a phobie returned the favour up at Hull, didn't he? So, you know, two strikers, pace through the middle. I love it. It's all I've ever asked for. All this one up top, two wide wingers, and then just nothing through the core of the, core of the pitch, which I kept saying. Um, Ashley, I'm good, mate. Thank you. How are you? I feel better for doing this, and I'm glad you're here with me. This is the next best thing to be in there today. Don't really do shout outs, but there you go. Um, Sean Devine, can you shout out my mate Jake? There you go. Is his name Jake, Jake Devine? 
Can you please say hi to my cousin, Jamie? Hello, Jamie, cousin of Joanne Cooper, the Cooper family. Uh, Mark Paris, absolute legend, mate. How are you? Thank you very much. Hope you're feeling better, mate. It's cold here. But I don't care. Free press. There's quite a local one for you as well, mate. Kind of, kind of people got in touch with me as well. Um, my mate Lloyd, you should actually you should get involved with them boys. Lloyd and all them boys. I don't think you know them, but they're from up Norwich way as well. Um, so a bit of a local one today for you, mate, and for them. Yeah, gutted I didn't um gutted I didn't uh can go today and there has been a donation and because we're indoors the one good thing about streaming from indoors and not the damage you can use super chats are open you can donate to the channel if you want to that's how us youtubers survivors are uh, survive well clearly not surviving very well at a minute um but if you want to if you want to donate brilliant thanks very much i'm not going to say no if you don't want to donate then please just subscribe at least um and on that note I had a coat on, big, big, lovely, warm coat. And we sold a few of them on the back of it. But no one likes clothing. It's, it's not really a plug. Well, it's, well, it is a bit. Just a bit of information. If you want to buy stuff from our clothing website, I keep getting asked to remind everyone. Well, it's not, you know, it's not a massive operation, unfortunately. I've actually never been there, so I don't know what it is. But, it, well, you know, we ain't got stuff in stock. Everything is made to order. So if you do want anything for Christmas, you need to order it. On or before the 14th of December, it won't guarantee you a Christmas delivery. I met too soon. Come, we're all friends here, aren't we? Let's make it. It's not. It's uh, let's make it. It's not planned though. Look. So anyway, I was just thinking. I was, things I need to do this week, and I want to say big happy birthday to my mate um, Almit's uh, wife, Sev Hussein. Happy birthday, Sev. I'm gonna have a guess at your age. Forty-three. You can't be offended by that, by the way, ladies. I'm not, I've, I've never met you, so 43. Um, am I feeling all right? People saying, yeah, if you've not had car, I've, to be honest, I've not, I've not been jabbed. And it's not like I do or don't believe in it. I just, life's just so busy that I don't ever sit down. And I thought, I'll, I'll go and get that jab done tomorrow. I'll go and get jabbed. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not interested in the politics. You know, my, my, my sister, for example, is campaigning and everything, going, right. Me and my brother's going all weird about it, and everyone's getting involved in this COVID. I don't really care. I just want to carry on going to work and watching Millwall, really, and see my kids. Um, so I didn't get jabbed, and I got struck down Tuesday. Um, and I knew it was COVID straight away because I said to my to my parents, where I'm currently living, of course, because my house is, still hasn't gone through. Um, I said I knew straight away it was COVID because if you got a cold, or if you've got a chest infection, or even for example, if you've got a hangover. You know what those things feel like? What I felt in the first 24 hours, I'd never felt before. And not to say it was beyond horrendous. It was just a, a, a different type of ill that I'd never been before. I was, um, the worst thing was needing to vomit, but couldn't vomit. I just And then I was laying in bed and I was tossing and turning and shouting things out. Offside! But not offside. <laughs> Shout stuff out. Why did I say offside? God knows. But yeah, I'm all right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Three points today on the road. At Peterborough will cheer me up no end. If you are, let this guy, is this, is this three o'clock ever going to come? If you haven't seen it already, here is today's squad. I will just put it on a screen for you quickly while I fuck around with my other screen to try and get the game on. I mean, the game's on. This isn't the issue. I'm trying to turn it to full screen. And it's like, doesn't seem to want to let me. I don't know. It's a bit weird. But there you go. The game's on and I'll be able to watch it. I'll be more zoomed in than I would possibly like. I don't know how I've done this either, but I'm on Pete O'Mara's. <laughs> I'm on Pete O'Mara's. Um, yeah, I'm on Pete O'Mara's. I follow. I don't know how I've managed to do that one, Pete. He's at the game anyway, and there will be videos out at full time. That's another reason I was gutted today because we don't always get the fan cams anymore. I do like to do the fan cams. I think we've done this since Huddersfield away. Obviously, now because I stream at home games, by the time I come out, you know, after the game and doing all that in the box, the um, everyone's long gone home. So there's no point, you know, there is no fan cams to do. But I um, I was going to get some fan cams today and quite a few of them, loads of boys going, but it was not to be. It was not to be. And there is movement on the pitch. Mill of course, today in their changed strip of white. 
Um, Peterborough's home kit is obviously right in the middle of both shades of our blue. We've got the, the electric blue away kit, uh, third kit, and then, you know, Dundee blue home kit. Peterborough's sort of in the middle of that, and it's, I knew we wouldn't wear blue, but also they've got white sleeves, haven't they? So, I mean, I love all of our kits this year, but they're not really, they don't really differentiate, do they? It's quite a big word for me. Like, if, if you're struggling, like, before, like a couple of years ago, we had the yellow one, or we had we got the green and white, or the orange, or the black. Like the idea of your away kit is in case you need to switch out the colours as a blue, white, and blue. <laughs> so they're, not, they're not really getting away from our from our, our, our natural colours, are they? Which is a bit puzzling. But there you go. Ah, oh, Charles, how are you, mate? Good afternoon. Hope you are well. Barry Fry, exchanging pleasantries. There's a lot of people in the centre circle. None of them are footballers, and they're all dressed up. I don't know what's going on. But um, there you go. Come on, you lions, says John Scoggins. Do I use the same camera at home as the match? GoPro, question mark. No, it's not a GoPro. It's a Logitech 2000, I think. It's just one that sits just on top. So it's like a webcam. It's like a decent one. Um, I hope I'll see. But it's the same one I use when I'm when I'm streaming at the den. Yeah, it's exactly the same setup. Preparation, preparation, preparate. Don't ask me at three minutes to three. Yeah, you can watch that. I'll tell you how you watch the game. It's easy. <laughs> it's on I follow. You need VPN. That's that's all I can tell you now, mate. So you left a little bit late. Okay. Gary Turrell, good afternoon, mate. A regular to the show. 3-1 walk today. Bradshaw, Jed and Malone. Little shades of last week, wasn't it? Little shades of last week. It was 3-1. Um, Bradshaw did get one. Actually got two, didn't it? It got disallowed. But we could have scored six last week. It was a brilliant performance. I've well, just seen your first match there, Gal. Thank you, Rutch. Uh... Oh, that's absolutely fucking terrible. Terry, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. For your missus... Kerry York, who passed away in May. Let's have a big win. Well, let's hope that um, we do do that, mate. And I'm very sorry to hear that terrible news. Um, I am going Coventry away. I'm supposed to be going Peterborough away. I'm not there. But, yeah, the teams are coming out now, finally. As soon as I've been online for about nine hours. Um, I am going Coventry away. I'm going Bristol City away. And I'm going Blackpool away. I'm actually staying in the hotel at the ground. For Blackpool, that's the weekend of my birthday. How old will I be on my next birthday? Nice answers only in the comments. Peter Cook. Thank you for bringing me all to Gloucester. No one likes football here, let alone us. Get well soon. Well, yeah, as soon as I saw Gloucester, mate, I did um, think that straight away because I used to spend a lot of my time um, and had ties to... Am I going to say the wrong thing now? I'm not going to say the wrong thing. Where's the Cotswolds? It's the Cots Gloucestershire, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not really a football place, is it, Gloucestershire? So the nearest team to you will probably be... Um, the nearest team to you will probably be Forest Green Rovers, wouldn't it? But yeah, big big rugby. They're all rugby and cricket, aren't they? They love rugby and cricket, them weirdos up there. But I've got some very good friends up that way, a lot of the boys, and they all um, got really into football. So yeah, Gloucestershire. I used to love to go, they always just go and watch the rugby. Yeah, Glo Gloucestershire, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck you know. Uh no, you supposed to play higher or lower, higher, unfortunately. Uh, definitely higher. You can fuck off. Um higher, higher. I'll give you a clue if you well, it's not even a clue, is it? It's just a, it's just a clear answer. I'll say if you if you double if you double 21, you'll get the right answer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Kerry Lane, I will be 42 years old. How the fuck? How the fuck has that happened? I still watch Step Brothers. I still am Step Brothers. I'm living in my parents' spare room <laughs> at the minute. Oh, what has happened to my life? Got a YouTube channel, though. No, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Fingers in lots of lots of pies. Doing a school. Oh, fucking hell. What I should have said was just a general, what, how old do I look? Oh, you met. Did you message me? Did you email me? You did, I think. Sorry, my head's a bit gone at the minute. But I'm pretty sure you did, and I will check and I will reply to you. 
the game still hasn't started. It is three o'clock. I will just say as well, don't forget that we are on a time delay. Because I'm streaming via YouTube, I will run slightly behind you. So please don't be a prick. If something happens, no, don't put it in the comments. Like, oh, well, this, is the, this is the glory of having it at the den. But this can't happen. Um, the screen at the bottom is just about to change. Bosh. As I've already mentioned, Super Chats are open. You can donate to the channel if you so wish. Patreon, clothing website, or normal website. It's all going on down at the bottom end of the screen. I'm going to get in early before anyone like the Bowden say, where's the screen thing? Graphic. There it is. And we're good to go. And Mill, we're going to be kicking off. Right. I'm on Burgundy. What I can't work out is why it's not letting me go into a full screen. However, it isn't. And the game is underway. And Millwall are on the attack early. Ball up towards. Um, the away fans will be over in the opposite corner, I think, won't they? If memory serves me. Tom Bradshaw chased it. He couldn't do what he wanted to do with it. And it will be a throw on to Peterborough. In by their corner flag, taken by their right back, trying to throw him out of danger early. Loose ball picked up by Jed Wallace. Nice ball around the corner by Jed. And Danny Mack is trying to get on the gallop. Screen's a little bit blurry, so if I do say the wrong name on the wrong player, please don't be alarmed. Mill player is nothing out of the ordinary, really, is it? Mill player goes down, nothing given. Play on, says the ref. Loose ball. Oh, it's nicely brought down. By Bradshaw, and I thought he was going to be away there, but the ref pulls it back and says there is a foul or something happened. I don't know what it was that happened, but something as, as that for commentary. I don't know what happened, but I can tell you that something happened. Worst commentary ever. Okay, we can only get better. Then can't it? Surely. Peter with the ball on the halfway. Good pressing early. Good early press. By Tom Bradshaw, looks full of confidence, looks full of beans, and is expected to sign a new contract at the club. Peter just knocking it around at the minute. I didn't really feel that's that sort of side. Coming into the game, no wins in seven, five of those defeats, two draws. I don't know if they scored in three, but here they come towards the edge of our box. Shot from distance. Cool. It's gone a distance over the bar, and it's going to be a goal kick. To Bartots Balkowski. I've got the obviously I've got the um I've got the volume turned down. So I can't really hear if there's a lot of mill. I mean, there is a lot of mill fans there, 2356. It is sold out to mill fans, but I can't really give you an indication if they're making great noise. Of course we will be. I'd like to hear it, but then that'll you know mess up what I'm doing. So I'll have to live with it. Goal kick, long from Bolkowski, over halfway, and Peterborough back in possession, moving it from centre to left. Attacking now. So Stevens in. Why? I don't, I don't feel right unless you're here. It's weird, isn't it? Well, have, to, have a stat. Have a Steve Lee stat. Cool. Jesus Christ. Was that July 2020? Oh, fell for me, yeah. George Evans, not happy with a referee, and he's given Peter a free kick. They put it down quickly. They play, moving it central. Try to go left, and it was, it was good shape for me. We'll keep saying this lately. I do like the way we keep our shape attacking from the front, if, if you know what I mean. Compact, don't get pulled apart. And just as I said that, we've been pulled apart, and a shot is saved by Bolkowski. Boy, over the top. he's running well away from goal, and Sammy Smodic. First time on his left foot, tried to help it back across. Bart gets us going up to Malone. Great ball from Malone. Oh, taken on his chest by Bradshaw. And his touch on his chest took him beyond the player. But he sort of lost his footing. But it was actually drilled it in by Malone. He didn't well to even get anything on it, Bradshaw. And here we go again. We've, we've broke play up. We've nicked the play. We've nicked the ball off him. And we're coming forward. And the pitch is bobbly as fuck. Either that or it's our passing. But yeah, the ball's bobbing all over the place at the minute. Never... Been known really for its beautiful turf, has it? The um, London Road Stadium. 
There's a little cutaway of Billy Mitchell. He's absolutely running the show at the minute and proving to people what I knew he was capable of. Andrew Roberts, hole one, Bristol City nil. Gary Toll doesn't agree. He thinks Bill will, Bill will beat in Bristol. Either way, Bristol are not doing well, are they? But, um, yeah, I think I think we got um, uh, Jimmy. You're a legend, mate. You're a legend. I know I've asked you this before, but did I used to live next to you in, in college court? Because it was a, oh, hey, I found a Jimmy D on Twitter and I looked at it and it's definitely my old next door neighbour. So is it you? I've asked you this before. Do you know I'm, well, anyway, get a pen, get a pen, Taylor, and, and quickly go and get a pen and write this down and, and this is how I'm watching the game. Ready? So it's an important code. You're going to need this. Preparation. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Couldn't resist that one. I only made you write down once instead of three times. Preparation, preparation, preparation. A lot of the early exchanges um, have been, no, the ball's been in Peterborough's possession. But um, they're not doing a lot with it. And I've just given it away again, kicks off the pitch. And Scott Malone is going to take a throw on, on the left-hand side. Mill in their chain strip of white shirts and... Dark blue shorts, white socks. Just, he gets taller and skinnier every time I see him, Scott Malone. And that Barney's unforgiving, man. It's got to go. Knocked up. Headed away. Jeb Wallace. Don't know what he was doing in the air there, but not anything good. Worth, worth it talking about. And the ball is spending a lot of time in the air in a minute. It's very, very scrappy. And it is, as you can see on the screen. Peter Brunil, Mill will nil. We, I mean, we can't be no more than... Six minutes into the game. And here come Milner. The opportunity to come down the right. Crossed into the box. Headed away. To the edge of the box. Strike. Oh, my God. Good God. George Evans. Well, he did it last week, didn't he? I think he was aiming for the goal in the cold blow lane. And again now. Because Danny Mack is free down the right. The pitch is awful, by the way. It's bobbing all over the place. Danny Mack's crossing into the box. He's headed out. <laughs> George Evans. Meets it, similar position to where he scored from last week. Uh, he's actually laughing. He's, he, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. He cuts across it on his right foot this time. And that, that could be at Peterborough train station when, when the fans get back there later. Whoa. Sorry, my, my, my eye. My ears just popped. Nothing's happening at the minute. There is a player for Peterborough down. He's been down a while. They're just going to show how he got injured. Oh, it's a fucking great tackle from Danny Mack. It's an amazing tackle from Danny Mack, and he's hurt the gear at the same time. Always a bonus. That was the uh, tackle that got us on the way. Well, you say that, Steve. That, that one last week was effortless on his left foot. Maybe he should have gone with his left foot. Maybe he thought... I've caught one one lucky one on my left foot, and that will never happen again in my lifetime, so I have to go back to using my normal foot. Maybe he shouldn't have done that. Uh, Cash Facts got a little soft spot for the Lions. Look good to hear it, mate. We're always, we're always looking for new recruits. Oh. Sorry, nothing, nothing's happening at the minute, by the way. You're not missing anything. There's actually a breaking play. I think there's going to have to be a substitution here. Um, I think there's going to have to be a substitution, from, if I'm not mistaken. That's really annoying that I can't go on full screen. But there you go. And the number three is, is going to have to be on, you know, in, on, on accordance of his bad touch. Which took him into a clattering from Danny McNamara. Danny Mac won the ball fair and square, by the way. Um, he's going to have to go off the pitch, I think. He's saying, give me a minute. But they're already fucking giving, giving the uh, sub. The... Yeah. I remember that one. I, I, do you know what I always remember? Though, for some reason, the most recent one, we got hammered 5-1. Joel Narch was in goal. That's when Shane Ferguson didn't want to cover and take the corner. Then I hated him for his entire existence at Millwall. He blocked me on Twitter. Um, 
And did Lucas Neal score that goal that game as well? I think Lucas Neal scored a worldie that day as well. But anyway, we're back in play. And Peter on the attack. Oh, a little trick and flick over the top from Sammy Smodic. Didn't come off, fortunately. And they'll clear their lines momentarily. But here come Peter again. They've got some good players, Peter, but they shouldn't be discounted. They've sort of... <laughs> One of their players has gone to shoot. He's as he's set with one foot, he's knocked it away from the other foot and spun around fully in a circle. And he's put Millwall on the attack. Scott Malone's in the area. Corner. Oh my god. But like the game, he he, he would put his left foot down to shoot on the edge of the box. But as he put his left foot down, it knocked it away from his right foot. So his right foot shot was just a fresh air, and he fully done a hee hee. He spun round 360 and then he just stood down. <laughs> and someone from our team just took the ball and ran off of it. <coughs> Mill went up the other end. That was absolutely comical the way he spun around 360 and he just looked at everyone and he's put us on the attack. Um, before we take the corner, which is going to be taken by Scott Malone, um, they're going to be... No, it's, this is a substitution. <laughs> Please show that again. No, the number three has gone off. Fucking have that. Danny McNamara, you legend. But right here, right now, it's going to be a corner to Millwall. Well, this guy's coming on. He's limping. He hasn't even started playing yet. So this could only be good news for us. And eventually, eventually, the corner will surely be taken by Scott Malone. Left-footed. Plays it short. Another little short corner. To the edge of the box. All cleared away. Unlucky. Something different. Didn't mind it. Didn't come off. We're still <laughs> foul. Here's a foul. We still have possession. It's going to be a free kick to us. Lovely little turn. Little Cruyff turn by Jeb Wallace. Gets taken out by Burrows. And it's going to be a free kick now to Millwall. We tried a little short one-two corner again. Similar to the Evans goal. But obviously... Other side of the pitch. It didn't work out, but don't mind it. See, new ideas, new and fresh ideas. I like this new, fresh idea approach that we all of a sudden have. It's a free kick to Millwall. Jeb Wallace bends one in towards the back post. It's too long. It's gone over everyone. And it is a goal kick to Millwall. It is, yes, it is, Paul. It's the same starting 11. While the ball's out of play, I will show because you're showing the replay of Jenny and thing in Rosehead. Um, that is today's starting 11. It's unchanged from the side that beat Birmingham last week. Obviously, Bart's in goal. You can't see that because if I take that latest score down, it's more than my life's worth. So, um, yeah, now we'll get this thing off the screen. I've got what I'm doing today. Um, there you go. Right, okay, we're back in play. And it is Neil, Neil, Peter Ryder. I am all right, mate. I'm getting by. This is making me feel better. I'll almost definitely need a nap after it. So obviously I've still got work to do because I do, I do work for a company. I'm actually head of content production, if you must know. I think I've mentioned it. But um, I obviously I can't go into the office at the minute. But I just said to him, like, I can't do full, like, I don't do f f every day anyway. But I've, this week I've done about a day's work over the course of three days. So I'm not going to charge them. I'm only going to charge them for one day. But I'll do like a couple of hours editing and I'm just, just absolutely done in. So I'm sure I'll probably have a nap after this. The old man who's also got COVID. Don't know how he got that. Um, saying he wants to have a curry later, but how do we get it in here, first off? My mum hasn't got COVID, but she's done know how. She's running around after us. No point having an Indian, because one, I can't drink, and two, I can't taste it. So all you get is a sore bum at the end of it. There's no point, is there? Oh, meal first to the ball there. Anyway, let's listen about my bum and my, back to the game. Throw on to Peterborough in by their corner flag in left back position, following a good bit of uh, pressing from Tom Bradshaw, full of beans. Shot on the ball a bit there, Bradshaw. I thought he'd been caught at first, but he didn't complain. Got, got on with it and left one on the number two for Peter. I like it. Ball's back in play again. Bradshaw again trying to be physical, doing well. Unlucky. Loose ball falls to Peter, running it out of their back line. We haven't really got going yet today. It's going to be difficult. It, this, this pitch. Quite Peterborough equally is well, you know, they've seen more of the ball, Peterborough, but their passing's been horrendous. Um, we just we haven't really got to grips in the game. This has got like a set piece one nil header written all over it for us at the minute. Um, 
really realistically <sighs> you're such what well, i don't even know what that's about but i can yeah that's just all foods as well that's not just you probably said indian or chinese or something that's just everything in the world equally <laughs> the lot oh come on oh it's very scrappy it's very scrappy the loose ball nearly fell in our favor but it was cleared away this is not like a, not a lot of bad ball for peter because it wasn't going out of play it had to be played in, our, in by our corner flag under pressure from danny mcnamara was from um some peterborough players and he had to play it and now peterborough are in a half decent position um nice break up and a play there was that by george evans i think it was yeah and once again, Peterborough have a throw. Uh, good movement from them. Lots of good movement from us as well. We're, we're, we're keeping them at bay with our shape. Mill trying to play it quickly. Jed one round the corner. Didn't work out. And Peterborough got the ball back again. Uh, and they've given it away again. This is a really poor standard of football, if I'm honest. Really poor standard of football. But it's still nil-nil. Um, so, in a, in a slightly selfish way, I'll be pissed off if we win like <laughs> if we end up winning, but heavily and I wasn't there but of course I'd rather see that of course I would where is Vodka Sampaio um I don't know half time cheesy beans on toast hmm I've not really f and enter Steve Morrison in the comments I'm not really fancying anything at the minute my mum said to me hang on we'll come back to what my mum said to me because we're on the attack cross into the box Charles one nil get in just like that Tom Bradshaw Back to Bradshaw, he will score you goals. I fucking promise you. And out of nowhere, the Lions lead 1 0. Get in. Jeb Wallace just carved something out of nothing down the left hand side. Broke lines, cut it back. Bradshaw on a sizzling platter. Scores his fifth goal in seven games. 1 0 Millwall. Get in. Oh, the defenders had a little bit of a stinker. It's a very easy goal. It's so easy. And I've told you a million times before. You won't fucking listen. Put the right chances in the right areas for Tom Bradshaw and he'll score your goals. Let's have it right. I probably could have fucking scored that one. But he's there and I'm not. And Bradshaw scores his fifth goal in seven games. One nil the Lions. Get in. And we are very slowly creeping the walls, being a very good side. I should know once well, I follow Bradshaw's missus on um, Instagram for her work stuff, obviously, not because she's an absolute 10 out of 10. And um, <laughs> she put a little thing out earlier, so she's on the train with a little girl going to see Daddy play. So that's a nice little one. These little girls, um, hopefully she's not in the melee where you lot all are. But yeah, lovely. A mill lead by one goal to nil. I try to explain this about Tom Bradshaw, and people don't fucking understand what I'm saying. But he's only scored 15 goals in 100 mil games because he wasn't being played in the right way. He wasn't even playing most of the time. But there you go. 1 0, Tom Bradshaw, Barsh. It was a funny one because he was, it says, a very, a very bobbly pitch. And sort of Malone's got it under control, sort of kicked one down the line. And it's bounced, and Jed Wallace was chasing it, and the defender sort of come and didn't know whether it come or stop, and Jed just sort of stuck his foot out and knocked him round him, which gave us the opportunity to shot from distance for Peterborough, to save by Balkowski. Well, it's comfortable save by Balkowski. Held it under the bar, Sam Smodic from distance, and it'll bar says, determined to ruin my day. But, um, yeah. And, um, yeah, and then he just, he just knocks it round the defender, Left foot, I mean, you got to ask serious questions about Peter's marking, by the way, because there was just no one there. And Bradshaw was in between two of them. Side foot sit past the goalkeeper into the middle of the goal from about the penalty spot. Um, yeah. One nil, Millwall. Peter and nil, Millwall one. Tom Bradshaw, eh? Who would have thought that a striker has never been given a chance really under Rowett in a two, play him in a two, don't play him in a one. Don't give him balls 50 yards. I put a post out on social, didn't I, saying, um, 
I've heard people saying he's as bad as Bavardson and he's got a touch like a trampoline. I say if you play him in the right way as, 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 as one of a two strike force, blah, blah, blah. Bradshaw liked it on Instagram. He liked my post. So he obviously seen all the time. Through you lot slagging him off about the trampoline touch, you upset Tom Bradshaw now. Well, you didn't upset him because my, my post was like quite a very full of praise for him. Um, but let me just tell you this, right? If for whatever reason we go back to playing one up front and he's a central striker on his own with two wide wingers, he won't score any goals because he can't control balls up here. He will have a trampoline touch with a defender up his ass, getting balls drilled into him here from 40 yards um, on, on the halfway line. That's not, that's, you know, he won't score goals in, in, that, in that instance. That's not how it works for him. But yeah, oh, actually, I'm not even, this, I'm not even being rude here. I, I've, I've just realised I didn't even... Hey, Mark Pessinger, Tom Bradshaw. <laughs> I might nick that later. Um, I didn't even realise that... Um, a phobe, where is a phobia? He's on the pitch. I've never seen him touch the ball yet, but there you go. Tom Bradshaw. <laughs> The mill looking very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Peter were knocking the ball around. We, we just look like, you know, when a team, you know, they know they never, they know what's coming. Basically, you know, they know they can't really compete with us. Not that we're that good, but they're having the ball a lot, and we, you can just see we're thinking, just let them, let them have it because they can't hurt us, and we'll just pick them up, we'll pick them off as and when with a little bit of quality, which is nice to say, which is nice to say. That goal sort of come out of nowhere. That's very strange. And the pitch definitely played a part. Um, they're trying to play Peter, but they just got they got no no fuel, no kick about them. Do you know what I mean? Bournemouth nil, Blackburn one in other goal news. Thank you, Gary. Um, I was watching something on YouTube the other day. I so much time on my hands in a bit about uh, Ben Brereton Diaz. And him actually going to play for Chile and all that. Oh, given away by Scott Malone. That's really bad, Scott. He comes back at him, concedes a free kick, and he'll probably have to say a booking for that one as well. But it's all his own doing, and that haircut's got to go. But, um, yeah, that Ben Brereton Diaz, obviously, ended up playing for Chile, hasn't he? And his mum, they interviewed the mum and the dad and all that. The, the mum's like a modern-day Julio Giulio. She's like... Oh, this mad, mad, this mad, this mad. I didn't think he meant it like like she's got like a northern accent and a Chilean one. It's fucking brilliant. Luton nil, Fulham one. Top scorers for us. Superstar. I love the way I love the way Steve just asked Steve now. Don't even ask me to ask Steve. Um, Kerry Lane. Kerry Lane and Bradshaw, you got five Kerry. You've done all right. And you get him. Must have missed that game. Oh no, right. He's replied. Bradshaw and Jed five each. I mean, he couldn't miss that. You couldn't miss it, but he's still had to get in the position. And believe it, he could he could have missed it, couldn't he? We've seen them missed. Um free kick to Peterborough. I know I just like the look of us at the minute. It's like the look of us, like you know, Murray Wallace is in, the, in, a, in a bundle there of players with fucking um, Jed, uh, sorry, George Evans, and they're all up like, big and fucking bollocking each other. And that looks like they, I'm liking what I'm seeing at the minute, but in a minute, we've got some defending to do. Whipped in, flicked on, just saved by Bart. Free kick was whipped in, left footed, flicked on at the front post, seen him going a million times. And um, it went across, but still going to the far post. Two strong hands, parries it away in the conditions, and it's cleared eventually by another Millwall player as we approach the 24th minute of the game. Peter and Neil, Millwall won. Tom Bradshaw with a goal. If you don't know, you better get to know. Ugh. Peter is still popping it, but again, just when we think we need to, we break it up, we nick it back, and here we come again. Benicophobe, a little bit of run on goal here. He needs a little bit of help. Yeah, far ref, fucking hell. I tell you what, 
I found he re received the ball on the right hand side, central and right. He was cutting across to the left, and, and all these other options had gone away from him. So he's on the edge of the penalty area, and he's going to be going towards the corner flag with about three Peter players in attention. And one of the Peter players just absolutely wiped him out, which means it's going to be a free kick to us. And Jeb Wallace is going to have a chance to strike a goal here. Yeah? Just showing a replay from good strong hand from Barnett coming in really quickly. It's going to be a fantastic opportunity here to put this fucking hell. This is, if you had to put the ball somewhere for Jed and say, you have a free kick from wherever you want it, where do you want it? This is exact, Jed will say just where that is now. I'll have a B, please, Bob. A ball and a strike from 25 yards. If anything, you might be slightly too close in. It's one of the ones you've got to get it up and over, and the goalkeeper's got a terrible ginger man bun. But anyway, it's going to be Jeb Wallace. Strikes, hits the wall. Was a little bit close in the end. My original excitement was squashed when I saw the ginger man bun. Ball back into the area for Millwall. Jed goes up. Can't win it. Does some good tra tracking down, though, and forces the defender into an error, who gives it to Scott Malone. Malone, oh, it's weak pass from Malone as well again. It's very scrappy. It's, it's weird. It's very scrappy, but you just get the feeling we're a little we're, we're that little bracket above them. And if we really you know at any point if we need to, we can we can pick them off and get set, get another goal. Oh. Rebecca Leach. Hi Dan. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? We'll win this comfortably, Pat. I hope you're fucking right, mate. It's looking, you know, it's not being all us by any stretch. They probably have more possession. But I don't know, it just it feels like they, they feel like they they know they're out their depth. And I'm not saying because like we're that good, just the championship in general, I think. They've done well to get up. Of course, they, they was down for a long time, weren't they? Uh, predominantly not a very big club in this division. They started out all right. They've got a few wins on the board. But um, like right now, they've got the ball and we're just sitting and we're just happy to let them have it because I don't think we think that they can hurt us. And again, look, when the time's right, we just nick the ball back. And they can phobe you putting in some graft. Peter Reno keeping the ball nicely on that occasion. Try and have another pop out. It's a little bit of space there. I've not seen um, I've not seen, was I've not mentioned the phobie's name. I'll be honest, I love Billy Mitchell. I've not really seen him, him in the game much either so far. There you go. Can't fucking be a superhero all the time. That's not a foul, mate. Come on, get up. Oh, he hasn't given a foul for that. George Evans penalised for fuck all, basically. He just nicks the ball. Did he just stab the ball while his foot didn't go into a tackle? And the ref is saying... Oh, sorry, the ref isn't saying all. Oh, I'm saying all. Oh, a little bit of a... A little bit of a drop in my level. Just have some ibuprofen. That will help me. Listen, it was never a free kick. George Evans wins the ball, but the ref has given a free kick. What have we done there? And I've got a little bit blurry. The ball's been whipped in, so he'll have to deal with it blurry for a minute. Needs to be cleared away. Oh, that's a beautiful touch from Jed. Oh, no, he's fallen over. Jed, ah! Jed knocked the ball over the geezer's head. Sorry, I'm trying to get that. The camera's gone blurry. I don't know why. I can I can rectify it. Don't worry. You, I will vanish very, very quickly. And then you'll have me back. There we go. Corner. Our oh, chance from the edge of the box from Peterborough. Miles over the bar. And it is a goal kick to me a wall. But it's, it's, you know, it's a strange one. They're not... They're giving a good account of themselves, Peterborough. But I just don't know. Just saying, not there for them. Do you know what I mean? And get to get a sense where we're a little bit sure of ourselves. We're a little bit we're nice and compact and organised. And cool, oh, fuck me, that's miles over. And if it wasn't sure because the sound isn't on, if Mill were behind the goal or on the side, it's definitely behind the goal because it just showed from behind the goal when that shot went over the bar, and about three thousand people went wanker. So <laughs> our fans are behind the goal that we will be attacking in the second half. 
last time we went to Peter, we sat on the side, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but we did. We were in possession now. Of course, he's been caught there, George Evans. Gives it to uh, Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell puts it wide. And Danny Mack's on the hop. Ball in. Nice one, two for Danny Mack. Just overrun it. Slow well, You didn't overrun it. Ball back to him. Wasn't very good. Ugh. Peterborough emerged with a ball. Oh, Bart's come a long way. He deals with it. Fuck me. Nice, Bart. It's one of them balls. You ever see, like, sometimes the ball goes over the top. And he goes right into a corner. You're only watching, like, the two players running for it. And you see the keeper come out. No, you like, what the fuck's he doing? What are you doing here? They look like that. They're pleased to see him. But um, <laughs> I shouldn't do random office quotes to myself when I'm streaming. Because if you don't watch The Office, you're going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But yeah, anyway, Bart clears it up in his beautiful, bright red kit. Ugh. Apologies about the coughing and the spluttering, and I'm um, trying not to do it too much. Here come Peter again into our area, full wide. Cooper gets the block on it. It's going to be another corner to the posh. Sammy Smodich, friend of mine, causing a little few problems. Little Smodich. He was Smodich when he was at Bristol City trying to say to me, get me down the hall, get me down the hall. And he'd be a good player for us in that 10, wouldn't he? If Jed ever did leave. Um, will Jed ever leave? I think Jed, Jed will leave on a free at the end of the season, if I'm honest. That's just my um, general, genuine opinion. Genuine, genuine, genuine mistake. Uh, it's a corner to Peterborough. I don't know why, but the, the linesman's currently making a one-man war in front of the taker. Wouldn't him take it, but now... He steps out of the way, um, and it's going to be taken left-footed, in swinging, away, flicks away, and it's going to be, oh, I thought it was going to be another throw, but it's been a judge to have been an impediment in there. Was it a foul? Was it offside? And it was just slow motion, trying to go, word, word. Just saw those of that behind the goal. I was so gutted I couldn't go today. It was a free kick. Judging by where Bart took it from. Don't know what happened. Don't care. We're clearing the ball now. And it's upfield towards a phobie. Oh, nice turn from a phobie. Gets his body in front. And then does... <laughs> gets his body in front, but then just lets it run beyond. Then done the worst back I've ever seen. Complete fresh air shot. But we still got the ball. God, oh, giving away. Is that Malone again? No, it's Murray Wallace this time. Gives the ball away. It's been a very scrappy affair. I don't know why I'm so confident. And, and I'm pleased with what's currently going on because it's not been that good. But I just feel confident. But I shouldn't because here's Peterborough and it can all change momentarily. Strike blocked. Yeah, they're just not. Oh, it's awful. Who the fuck was that? Who the fuck was that? Was that Murray Wallace? Trying to knock it over Dembele's head fucking 25 yards from goal. Was it Murray Wallace? I want to see this replay. Oh, no, sorry. I've got to tell you, Bill. That's Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Trying to knock it over Dembele's head and, and completely fucked it up. And Dembele had a shot and he got blocked. And it's another corner to Posh. Crossed into the box. Oh, only half cleared again by Millwall. Another opportunity for this Dembele guy. We've got to get hold of him. Uh, Millwall again. Oh, it's given away again. And we get lucky there because he's been given away. I think it's Evans. Try to slot it out of defence. Got given away and he's gone down like a sack of shit and he has got a free kick. It was Evans. It was a foul, to be fair. And pressure will be relieved momentarily. There's a lot of... Sorry, there's a lot of comments. There's a lot of comments. Dean, he scored again for Burnham. They're 1-0 up against Card. If it was um earlier on, I was watching the... um. I wasn't watching. I was watching the score come in. Moo! Rebecca Lee's going for 5-0 today. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Scott Malone. Chance from distance. Does he shoot? No, he knocks a great ball to Jed. who turns back on himself. Knocks it into the middle. Flicks on at the front post. Goalkeeper comes out. I mean, yeah, look, the only, I think the only... The, oh, oh, sorry. So disgusting. Taste in my mouth. The goal we scored is the only chance we've had, I think. I think he's had another save to make, but here come Peterborough again. And they're starting to get a bit too much joy now. So down that middle, 
Down the middle, want to see where our midfield is, please? That'd be nice. Again, lots of fucking space. Wide left. How long gone? 10 minutes till half. 34 minutes gone in the game. It is 1-0. Tom Bradshaw did score the goal. Put on a plate for him by Jed Wallace. After a little bit of a bobbly clearance by um, Scott Malone, Jed made good of it. But now we've got some defending to do again. Shot from the edge of the box. Blocked. Clear it away. Bodies on the line. It's still not cleared. But the whistle has gone in there, and I think it could be offside, which will be lovely. But they're getting a lot of joy in them. It was right down the middle of the pitch as well. Right down the middle of the pitch. And that shot from distance was blo <laughs> blocked by Jake Cooper's jaw. Not that Coops knew a lot about it. He went, absolutely wore one, the big dog. Um, and eventually the game is stopped, and it is a free kick to Millwall on the penalty spot, pretty much, which the big man's going to come out of the sticks and take as we approach the 35th minute of the game. Long ball forward. Flicks on by Fobe. Flicks on by Bradshaw. His wife for Jeb Wallace. It's a great ball. Oh, fuck, that would have been brilliant. Flicks on by Fobe. Flicks on by Bradshaw. Jeb Wallace catches on his chest, knocks it inside, where Fobe had continued his run, chested it, and as he went to volley it on target, defender got in the way. But those three do link well. See, pace. Pace and excitement through the middle of the pitch. All this fucking slow, lackadaisical. <sighs> right, what's happening here? It's a throw on to Peter Bray, left back position. Trying to play at, they have played at, header from Hutchinson. Sammy Smodich was in an offside position. And it will be. I tell you what, it's like, it's such a shame because there's a lot of empty seats here. Not in the middle end, obviously. Should have given us more. I went for a free, someone's asked my score predictions. I went for free, free before the game. Never in a million years of Peter scoring three goals here. Um, famous last words. Oh, we're going to win. We're going to win, hopefully. Ball forward for Millwall. Cooper tries to win the flick on. It's been stopped again. It's been so stop start. Surely that's not offside. They haven't got themselves in an offside position there. Oh. oh sorry. I am struggling. There you go, we soldier on. Second goal, get me moving again, will it? Lucky, how are you? Keep them busy in their half. Free, free, that's what I said. Cool, your brother's gone to his first. How's the COVID? Yes, yeah, kicking in a bit now, Baz. Been all right, but I've not really been obviously talking to anyone. I've just been laying on the bed watching loads of Netflix and shit like that. But um, your brother, well, let's, I'm going to read that one. My brother Harry had gone to his first away by himself. Cool. How old is he? 44. No, you know, too young. He'll be all right. Be loads of me all there. He'll have a great time. Might not come to Wednesday, but he'll have a great time. Free kick conceded by Danny McNamara. It must have been because he's fucking raging at the referee. Me all going to hold the line. Try and hold it at the edge of the box, but they're getting forced back a little bit. There's a two man wall out there as well. It's going to be taken out on our right hand side. It's going to be whipped in right footed. I've got a bad feeling about this. Whipped in. Flicked on. And it's not gone in. I didn't see where it went. <laughs> he got whipped in. Right, he got flicked on. Oh, it went well over the bar. And in the background, you see. Whoa, whoa. There's a camera perfectly perched in our, in our stand where our fans are. It's just hilarious to keep seeing like hundreds of hands going, going wankers. Every time. Peter don't hit the target, which is often. They've had a few chances. They have had a few chances. And it's a long ball forward. Oh, is that a foul? 
Can we get something there? Rich says no. Play on. It's back with a Peterborough goalkeeper as we approach the last five minutes of the half. <sighs> might, have, might have a bit of quiet time in a minute. It's not talking. I've got to talk. And I, I feel fucking really rough. <laughs> oh. Peter at a minute content with the ball. On the halfway line, plenty of possession. Advancing on the uh, final third, where they're going to meet some middle bodies. It's a nice little trick, to be fair. Let's create a little bit of space, clear the way, though. And this is a chance where we can break now. Oh, God, oh, lovely little... I don't know if it was deliberate or not, but we've merged with the ball. Benedict Foley plays a one-two with Bradshaw. Bradshaw, oh, he's been clipped there, ref. Ref? Fuck me. Any chance? I thought that was a foul on a phobia, but um on Bradshaw, but no, nothing given. It's um Scott Malone on the ball now. Honestly, the pitch. He's not to Jed. Jed took a touch and it bobbed about seven times after that. There was nothing wrong with Jed's touch, but we were emerging with a ball down the right hand side. Danny McNamara stands right to the back post, chested back to his goalkeeper by this goalkeeper's barn in, man, honestly. Jesus Christ. Basically, nothing happened, and it's back with a Peterborough goalkeeper. Whew, and we're back in play. <coughs> <coughs> Foul. Oh, fuck's sake. Loads of free kicks. Loads of opportunities for people to get the ball in the box, which they have, but they've not been able to um, make good of any of that. Dembele's causing a few problems. He was the one, again, him and Smodic are the sort of two main men for those. Of course, they had Ivan Tony, didn't they? And Ivan Tony, the year they went up. He didn't play last night for Brentford. Ivan Tonals. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's, that's. Good. That's a good wife, then. That's the wife you want. This guy just just chatting Tom Bradshaw. Why not? What, what a time to shout it. What a time to be alive for Tom Bradshaw, scoring goals for fun. At the minute, Peterborough in possession. In a semicircle, can hear a me in the background. Yeah, I can still hear it. Good noise from our fans. Peter is still trying to find some joy through Smodic. Cut out by George Evans, and it's going to be a throw on to them on the edge of our penalty area. 334 of you are in the live stream. We're an hour and 13 minutes into that live stream. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're nearly on 16,000 and something now. Yeah, 400, I think, nearly. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there, but we're getting there. Got some defending to do here. Peter Brin to the area. Oh, good block. Good block. Really good block. Was that? No, oh, Mary Wallace. Of course it was. Who else? Who else than the mountain? The man, the machine. Coverage Scott Malone nicely there. Great block. Ball up. Oh, hang on. It's cut away. We're on the attack. A phobic brought down, is he? Oh, the ref says no. Don't know, sorry, cut away from a from a, an eye follow replay, and the ball was in the air. A phobia was chasing it. As it come down, he, he tried to bring it down first time. It bounced once. Then he looked like he was pulled down. Uh, ref says no, play on. Peterborough now back on the attack. So I'm trying to raise my levels here, but not, more needs to happen in the game to get me excited. A I minute, mean, it's a lot very scrappy, lots of giving the ball away from both sides. And if I'm honest, yeah, you know, we don't really deserve to be in front. But we are in front, so who gives a fuck? They've had some poor... They've got some good positions, Posh, but they've got terrible deliveries and poor finishing has made it. I think only Bart's only had to make one save when he could have released that to make about 10 if they'd have had their shooting boots on. Um, but at the same time, we just look like the more likely. We look like the, the championship side. We look like the more stable and, and stronger unit and more experienced. I don't know why, but just... I'm getting cold now. 
fucking window open. I might have a little reshuffling here at half time. I might have a little, might, might order a cup of tea from room service. I'll get right in a minute. Room service? Room service? Room service? I haven't done a lot of shit sandwich. Boy, into the box, clear the way. Um, of course, I could go and do it myself, but I don't do that. <laughs> the treasure don't do the hunting. No, I'm not supposed to leave the room, am I? So, be not ordering, ringing through my dinners. Not like individuals, like, can I have something to eat, please? Not like, can I have this? Because as Steve Morrison rightly says, I like anything. So, when, when the time's right, I'm like, can I have a bowl of, uh, the other day, can I have a bowl of cornflakes, please? Or can I have some dinner, please? And it, up it comes, beautiful. For no, for no rent, for all this living at home at this age is actually all right. Oh, fucking hell, my knees are freezing. I have to have a rethink. I have to have a rethink for a second. I've got socks and shorts on at the minute. Oh, that's a nice turn by Dembele. Oh, what's happened here? And the rest pulled it back. And the posh players are fuming because Dembele did a lovely little turn, got pulled back, but the loose ball went on, I think, to Smodic, who went into the area. It wasn't smart. He was number eight, whoever he is. And they're, they're raging, the yeah, posh fan, uh, posh players. But it has been pulled back, and it will be a free kick to posh right on half time, surely. Yeah, the 45 minutes is up. There's three additional minutes. Sean Hutchinson has been booked for his troubles, the skipper, in all that. And the player for posh is shaping like he's going to shoot. From about 150 yards out. <laughs> and it's wide. We don't like to do like the, the busy Johnny Wilkinson step back while they're going to hit one. If it goes in, it'll be the best guy I've ever seen. But he is going to shoot because no one else is making any movement. It's going to be left footed, surely. Not left footed shoots. You ain't beating the big dog from there, mate. Come on. Tomlinson. What are you. What, what, why? Left foot, round the wall, round the, round the post. That was a bit, that was a bit pointy, that. But there you go. Suits us. And it looks like we're going to go into the break. One nil up. Put some traction bombs on. That'll be a start. Oh. Come on and give us the half-time whistle. This, to me, this hasn't got to be a good performance today. You know, just get the job. Just get the points done. Play the team down the bottom. On a shocking pitch, freezing cold day in December. Just, just get the job done. It's all we have to do today. Oh, Dan, you got Corona. Yes, you're just falling into line. No, not heard much from midfield, Mad Mike. I will agree on that. Um, they've got sort of those players, haven't they? Though that in Smodic and in Dembele, that sort of they don't play up front, but they don't play in midfield. They're sort of playing that cheat up bit area. They're hard to pick up, and we have struggled to pick them up. But a, a goal from Tom Bradshaw, assisted by Jeb Wallace, looked you know, like a very easy goal for us. Um, it's been a difference, and it will be half time shortly, but it's going to be one last chance for Peterborough from this corner. Whipped in, Bart catches it, falls on it. Thanks for coming, the Polish Panther, back to back player of the year. That's what he does, and that should be the last action of the half as he rubs his left lug hole. And gets to his feet. Oh, he's gone back for a second rubber the lug hole. And now he's back up again. Go on, get the hat trick in. Oh, no, he sniffed his right armpit instead. And he didn't even get a chance to punt it upfield. It is Peter and Mill. Mill will won at half time at London Road. Not a classic by any stretch. Peter have had much the better of the play. Um, created more chances in very difficult conditions on a bobbly shit pitch. However, we looked very organised. We just look the more likely. We look the more experienced. We look the more physical. And, of course, what always helps is we've scored the only goal of the game. Scott Malone clips one up. Ball bobbles in front of their defender. He doesn't know whether to come or go. Jed helps him out and says, I'm going to do, 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 do the work for you, mate. Gets his foot up, knocks it round him like a chop on his right foot. Knocks it into the box. Left foot squared. Tom Bradshaw on hand to tap it home. Feed the Bradshaw. And he will score. I'm going to get some tracksuit bottoms on. And all the room service 
And then I'll be back to dunk some jam dodgers in my tea, hopefully, while you enjoy these messages from our sponsors. ChangeAngel.io is a wallet-to-wallet, -wallet, non-custodial swap exchange created by the community for the community. It only takes seconds to sign up. And better still, you can log in using Antum ID or DigiID, powered by Digibyte blockchain technology. When utilizing the Change Angel platform, you know that your transaction is secure, as well as fast. And if you ever have any questions, our support team is available 24-7. Change Angel lists many great coins and will donate a portion of swap revenue to the non-ICO coins listed on our swap exchange to help enhance the project's development. We unite all projects to work together and raise cryptocurrency awareness by organizing, sponsoring, and attending events worldwide. We invest in blockchain-centric projects. Ready to make a change? Help unite communities? Support your favorite projects? Choose ChangeAngel.io, the swap exchange for social good. Yeah, what biscuits you got? It's official. Lions TV has gone global. Welcome to our latest sponsor from the other side of the world, Elite Words. Elite Words is a Sydney, Australia-based communication service specialising in copywriting and content strategy. They're looking at cracking into the UK market. So if you know anyone that needs writing, content strategy, copy editing or copywriting for blog posts, newsletters, feature stories, websites or brochures, hit them up on these platforms. Well, that's one job done. Oh. What's happening? We're back, we're back. I didn't... He said, thank you for coming. Why have I said that? He's already here. Well, thanks for coming in. Anyway, right. <coughs> <coughs> um, tea's ordered. There's a bit of Jamaican ginger cake flowing about as well. Fuck off. And Jamie Dodgers. We'll be having that in a minute. Uh, there you go. Connor. Cancer, sorry. Cancer Poppy. Thank you very much. It's all here. Thank you very much for your kind donation, mate. Pshow. Can't really do the noise. Um, super chats are open. You're more than welcome to donate to Lions TV if you like. If not, not a problem. Please do subscribe at least. Bart's making too many saves. Lol. Um, do you know what? I'll just come out. My old man just come out. He went, he went, um, oh, it's shit, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been shit, really. I don't know. I don't know why I've been so positive about that. I think I find that if I'm positive about a performance, everyone else is negative. Look, they're they're right down there. They're struggling for survival. They can't fucking string two wins, two goals together, let alone two wins. It's a shit pitch, a shit stadium on a freezing cold December afternoon. It's going to be difficult. Um, they've got a couple of little tricky dudes up front. It's not going to be easy, and we're going to grind it out. I don't care. It ain't got to be fantastic result uh, performance. It can't always be about the performance. Um, you know, if you play bad and win, so be it. I don't mind that. Oh, mate. That's, that's something I definitely don't need. I definitely don't need. Back on the market, and I fuck you know, I can't. I think it's, it's just women in general, mate. I just can't deal with it. Just in time for Christmas, anyway. So, who wants to buy me anything for Christmas? Uh, Richard Abraham seeing that. I'm going for a beer. Have a beer. Yeah, my mum's my mum's making me a nice cup of tea. <laughs> no wonder I'm single. My mum's making me a nice cup of tea. Um, um, no, no, I wasn't. And it wasn't that I'm against the vaccinations. I just I did explain this at the beginning. I just busy with life and stuff, and just yeah, I'll get it done next week. I'll get it done tomorrow. But now, obviously. You are going to really see get done now because you can't get into the dead unless you've got proof of a PCR test. Um, or sorry, is it, or is it lateral, lateral flow test? So basically, you've got to have a COVID test. If you don't want to get jabbed, you've got to prove you've done a test every two days or every every, like every two days before you go, every time you go to the den. So, yeah, just get it done and it's just an inch. Show the COVID passport is this just done, but I'm not pro. I'm not anti fucking jab, and I'm not pro jab. I don't really care. Just want it all over with. Um, there we go. Terrible first half, but one chance and we took it. Yeah, and it looked like it was a very easy. Like it was just like very easy that chance, wasn't it? Carved it out of nothing. I mean, they're, they're, 
they're marking that you know there's got to be an inquiry in their dressing room at half time. Uh, Bradshaw managed to be pretty much on the penalty spot, also 10 yards from either, either centre back or five, five metres from either centre back. What was they doing? But it was a, it was a good finish, 1 0. And we go into the game. Um, go into the sorry, the half time. Oh dear, people still trying to work out VPN is meal mug or cup. Are you saying, what's this like for the what am I my tea in? No, I'm not my I'm not like cup and sauce or that game. In fact, if I go for like a if I go for like a I don't really like cost stuff and shit. But say if I go for a Starbucks, I'll get I'll I'll get in a takeaway cup. I don't really like all the Ponzi cups and shit. Unless it's a nice beer or proper beer glass, I like. A half times elsewhere. Birmingham 2 up against Cardiff. Huddersfield Coventry was a result. Bournemouth losing home to Blackburn. Someone just put it on the chat. Hull beating Bristol City 1 0. Luton losing home to Fulham 1 0. Peterborough losing home to Mill 1 0. A few nil nils floating around in there. Interesting. Interesting. Right, you've got this thing called if you want to watch the game, you've got to, you, you've got to pay for it, right? VPN. It's a massive thing called VPN. It's like a global thing. You just go onto your phone on your app store and you type in VPN and like hundreds will come up. There's no link. Then once you've got that, you click it on and you, you don't put it on in England. You change the country to anywhere other than England. So then when you go onto the Mill website to buy the game, the Mill website thinks you're abroad and it lets you buy a video pass. By this point, I'm guessing, Harry, the wild boy, YT, you're not going to do it because it's already half time. You've got to buy a VPN which they'll give you seven days free, but then you've got to sign up for £6 a month and £10. I'm going to stab in the dark and say, right here, right now, it's half time. I don't think you're as bothered about me and to pay 16 quid at half time. I could be wrong. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was an insult, and then I read it again. Listening to your commentary is reminiscent of listening to the football on the radio in the 50s. Thanks, Dan the Man. Well, you've obviously enjoyed it. <laughs> oh... We try and do that bit. We try and do it. Room service has arrived. Hello, room service. Oh, look at room service. Um. <laughs> look at that. We've got, I mean, we've got a little Christmas cracker. Look at that. Jamaican ginger cake. Good old Jan. Look, look at that. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's just made that's just made everything better. Not that it was bad because we're winning. She goes, she goes, don't, don't put that camera on me. Oh, look at that. Can't be a bit of Jamaican. I'm not really a cake kind of guy, but at least Jamaican ginger cake's next level. I've got a Christmas cracker. Let's we'll see what's in this bad boy. <laughs> Fuck off, Steve. There's games on this and everything. The game's so easy. There's not even point doing it. I've got a... There's tongue twisters on here. There's charades. There's all sorts of going on. Rob, what's happening, mate? You all right? Can't be a jammy dodger, can you? Fuck, that's hot. You get front back in her fucking face, you can forever forget. But there's sugar in this. She get fucking P45, she ain't careful. <laughs> I look like a cake man. I don't know what I know what you mean, yeah, but okay, so on that basis, I'm a fat bastard, yes, but I would, would like to eat more cake. It's one of the things I never think to unless I come here, she goes, a bit of cake. Oh yeah, a bit of cake. It's not one of the things I walk go to a shop and think, oh, I might have a I might buy a nice bit of cake. Maybe well, I maybe I definitely shouldn't start eating more. 
But um, I I do look like a cake man, and I I do enjoy it. But um, cake, yeah, screw you. Uh, Stevie, Downey, you're doing a great job, mate. Had to stop going due to anxiety issues. Burns, ah, Budgie's cousin, Man United fan. I'm sorry, you you know you're struggling, mate, with anxiety. Can get you kind of just for no reason as well sometimes. Can just get you, and you, you don't know why, but you you know, you know oh, this is silly. I shouldn't, you know, but then you can't help but feel that way. I've been there, been there myself, mate. So, thanks for the donation. Get well soon. I nearly got a dollar in my in my tea for my troubles. Oh, you know, everyone's going, everyone's going for me. I, I come off my deathbed. I thought I said 731 in the live stream. I come off my deathbed for this, and I get this shit dealt to me. Oh, I'm joking, I love it, really. Lapo Romani, come on from Florence. Come on, you lions. Yes, mate. Oh, Wait, they weren't bankrupt. They fucking sold up. <laughs> They sold up a ball mansion. It's a lot of talk of beans on toast. You look like a cake man with them. Huh? Um, yeah, we need um, we need to improve in the second half, and that sounds stupid because we um, we're winning the game, but it hasn't been good, has it? But at the same time, I feel completely comfortable. I won't be saying that I'm screaming when we let one in the 89th minute. Team's just about to come back out. I'll tell you what I will say. If that cake ever goes down. We have seen quite deep in that half. We have seen quite deep. We need to get further up the pitch. We're attacking now, of course. The Mill fans in the second half. Shoot a few shots out for um thingy. Bought San Paolo. Try it mint tea or green tea. Work for me when I had COVID. I've got issues, man, with mint things. Like mint, believe it or not, mint chocolate. And like mint ice cream. Like if I just think, you know, you brush your teeth in the morning with mint, like mint flavoured toothpaste. So just, I can't do, I don't understand mint flavoured stuff. Or orange, really, but I can deal with a Terry's chocolate orange, no problem. But, um, yeah, I just don't – mint, it's just like, why would you put mint as a flavour to eat when it's what – the, what, you, what you brush your teeth with, isn't it, as well? Unless you've never used mint toothpaste in your life, and then you don't know what to do about. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Happy birthday. What would have been Garrett Bar- Barry Kitchener's sorry Barry Kitchener's birthday today? Oh, mint lamb is good. Oh, do you know what? I've just you just throwing a spanner into the works there. Hmm. I really want a beer. I could have a beer. I'm not really on medication, but I can't be really tasty, so it's a bit pointless. But the second half is just about to get back underway. Warm drink is nice. That could be anything. That because she, she could she could have pissed in it for all we know. Like it's just warm. It's just nice. I don't think my mo- my mother would do that to me. But there you go. You never know. <sighs> right. Second half is underway. Mill are attacking the away fans behind the goal in the second half. Um, and that's about it so far. No changes that I can see from either side. And again, back to balls, long balls, bobbly balls. But that's nice from Mill. Benicophobi's running into the corner. Cuts back on himself nicely. Mill, good little bit of play early in the, early in the half. And he's Danny McNamara. Checks back on himself, looking for a little bit of support. Knocks it into Jeb Wallace. Jeb Wallace to Hutchinson? Is that? Not sure. Whoever it is, Mill can't get hold of the ball. And it's given away free kick. Two 
Peter, bro, this cake is absolutely governor. I've got to tell you. Right, here come Peter, bro. In possession. They will need something from this game. They don't want seven win, seven without a win to turn into eight without a win. Then they come into our half. Centre back carrying a ball. Inside the, this pitch ain't helping because they're trying to play football. Get your fucking pitch saw. You might help yourself out. Clear the way. Nicely walk down his chest. Oh. Not Jed, but he's sort of... Oh, what's he doing there as well? That's not actually Jed. I'm blaming him, blaming him for Danny McNamara's work. Danny McNamara's battling away, trying to get back now, and he can't. Switched across the field by Peter Brown. He's not going to make that, is he? No. Yes, possession conceded. And a throw on to Millwall right on halfway. Gary Rouse up and animated. And he said, Bill... Calm down or something when you got the ball. I think you just said, if I can lit read that. Um, I'll be honest, I think Billy Mitchell won the ball much in the game. We've been having to do a lot of defending, though. But we still are winning. I just feel if we need to at any minute, we want that second, we can get it. And are we now going to try? Tom Bradshaw's in by the corner flags into the area, Bradshaw. Battling away with his newfound goal-scoring attributes and confidence. There's a break in play now. What's happening here? There's a uh, Peter player down over the back of his calf in the penalty area, and the game has momentarily stopped. Man can't even have a slice of cake on a Saturday afternoon. What's happened? Sound wrong with the world. I'm just trying to get a bit of energy for I can part only for I'm gonna pass out in the first half. Nah, it's good. Don't fuck off actually. Don't like it. Go and watch fucking act or whatever it's called. That nah, is the governor, Nick. Went on the club's official podcast. So I mean, I'd love to see you on there again. I don't don't hold your breath on that one. Oh, balls bobbling around in the area. Could it be cleared? It is cleared away. Man up, man up, man up. Oof. Tight in there. Billy Mitchell on the ball. To Danny Mac tomorrow. Danny Mac to Hutchinson. Hutchinson, big switch. Oh, the ball down the line. Won't find Scott Malone, who's very advanced. Very, very advanced. And then we get back now into his position. Peterborough in possession. <laughs> And again, find it just getting out quite easily, really. Look, passing it backwards. There's no tempo to this game. So, sorry to tell you, like, I'm pleased we're one new up. But I just really thought it was going to be a mental, fucking brilliant day out. Loads of goals, loads of chances. And it's not been that. It's been really scrappy. Hardly any chances for us. Some of the one we got, which we did score. Plenty for Peter, bro. Can't convert any of them. I mean, they come again. Crossed in, cleared away. Then given away. Billy Mitchell loses the ball. Dembele tries to turn. Can't do so. His mate will pick it up eventually on the wing. Cuts back in. Oh, it's all right. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. That was a terrible bit of information for me there. Which I just went, oh, oh. But it happened really, really quickly and I couldn't really see what happened. But anyway, regardless, it's been cleared. We're fine. I've got feet. We could have catch him on a break at some point as well, which could be now. now they're leaving themselves quite open at the back, obviously, because they need to score a goal at some point. The longer it goes, the more that will continue. And which is nice to say, we've got the legs up front, haven't we? We've got the legs up front. If it does break, we could score. Bit of pace. But here come Peterborough again, nicely brought down by their man who's on the edge of the box now, puts it wide. He's going to get an opportunity to cross, does cross. Clear the white at the front post by Hutchinson. It's going to be a throw on just. 
right on the verge of being a corner, but it's going to be a throw. <clears throat> Cross back into the box. Headed away at the front post again. Back post, sorry. Picked up again by a Peterborough shirt. Thought I was trying to turn the... Um, Turn the cog slightly. Oh, Peterborough. Oh, come on. Closing down. Well, he is a pop in again now. New developments in the COVID household. Then Belay on the ball. Moving it along. Oh, chance shot from distance. Loads of space. Shot from distance. Bart pushes it over the bar. And he got so much time and space there. And the shot, I thought Bart would deal with comfortably. And I think I'm still going to see if he did. Well, he did. But he come at him at a pace and he had two hands on him. Right at the last minute, he sort of moved a bit. So he does well with a big man. Two hands, pushes it over the bar. Now they're trying to get around him at the corner. The posh players. Danny Max in by the man who's trying to do it, which means there's no one on the back post. And the corner's going to come in left-footed. Swung in. It's going to be cleared away. Again, this is our chance to break here. And it's a great ball. I'm on our way. Jeb Wallace. Ah, oh, tackled. Tackled right on halfway. We need, to, we need to provide something to this game. However, just found that as well. What about that for a little treat? I don't know what that is. A little candy cane. Full of surprises she is, Jen, isn't she? Yeah, we need to... Um, we need a bit more in the second half. The constant pressure from them is just unwanted and annoying to watch. And as ball goes up to a phobia, he's brought down. Rest says, no, get on with it. And Peterborough once again come away with the ball. Go and nick it. Oh, you just, I do get the feeling we're going to nick one off him in a minute and that when we're going to go. And that'll be two zip. But in a minute, more defending to do. Danny Mack heads it back into the danger area. Oh, it's awful. Who was that? Shot, Bart saved. Was that Billy Mitchell again? I don't know if it was Billy Mitchell, it was Sean Hutchinson. No, it was Billy Mitchell. Oh, Bill, I love you. But it's not been your best out of the office. You've got to be honest with you. Little ball around the corner. Oh, that wasn't a bad idea. No one, Bradshaw didn't read the run, though. And it's gone all the way through to the goalkeeper. Come on, let's get the fans behind the goal saying let's fucking cheer about. <coughs> Biggest cup of tea ever. Fuck it, I can earn. Gregory scored for Sheffield Wednesday, has he? Let's have a Jamie Dodger celebrate him. Now, if you said watch your fingers before, you're definitely going to say watch your fingers now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm the expert at one dunk dip. Nick it, unlucky. Oh, Peter on the overlap, chance to get the cross in. That's good tracking back by Billy Mitchell on this occasion. Player knocks it through his legs. Oh, what? He, well, first off, it wasn't a foul. Second off, he's booked Billy Mitchell. And third, it could have been a penalty, but it wasn't. Billy Mitchell stands his man up on the wing. Then Bele knocks it through, round the side of... Oh, it's ridiculous. It does a flip flap round Billy Mitchell. Ten yards round Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell just stands there. He didn't. He didn't like. He didn't take Billy Mitchell on. It was just ridiculous. Like basically, um, Billy ran up to him. He just kicked the ball past him and jumped into him. Not only a foul, but a booking for Billy. That's ridiculous. That's four bookings for us. <laughs> Steve, it's like a black hole. Now we've got some defending to do. <laughs> Just 
God, it's like a black hole. <laughs> oh. It's a free kick to Peterborough. They are literally, you know, it's on the touchline, but in line with the penalty area. And it's an awful, awful attempt. I don't know it's a free kick or a shot, sorry, or a cross. But it just hits the first man. It goes for a corner now. Still, we have some defending to do. Oh, he knows. Cross comes in. Bart goes, don't make it. Ball still loose in the penalty area. Scott Malone takes his man out wide. Does well, holds him up. Forces him into conceding a throw on and it gives us a chance to relieve the pressure. Five bookings. Who's been booked? Billy, Hutch, Danny Mac, Murray Willis? No, that I'm only I'm guessing I only saw them three. So if there's been more, I haven't seen them. I'm hot again now. Can't fucking get it right, can I? This is what happens when you got the rotor. Come on, boys. This we, we need to sort of you know start getting into this fucking game now. Like we're up, we're approaching the hour mark. And be honest, we've done fuck all in the game. But we, we won't withstand this pressure the whole time. The whole time. Let's have a little bit of a spell. It's been it's been a really bad performance. Is it me or is it just? It's been a really bad performance for us. I was all. I was all bold in the first half, going, yeah, they ain't got nothing to throw at us, but they keep coming, and we can't seem to get involved in the game at all. And there was a chance to fucking level it, and they almost did. Burrows again involved. He's now down injured. Um, a few more players clattering into each other, and the ball just rolled past Bolkowski's post. That was Jed, Jed and fucking Murray Wallace tripping each other up. And he should have done better, really, from where he was. Is it me or is it? It is very hard. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. It's very hard. I'm not being overcritical. Because I said, coming to a team that need results, shit condition, shit pitch, you know, we can't always play brilliant. I get that. But we've not really done anything in the game other than score that one goal. Is, is that fair to say? 72. So, um 28 to posh. Fucking hell. Right, we've got a free kick here. Tom Bradshaw has won it. They're not happy with it. Like, we've not even been in their half for like a sustained period of time and created a nice bit of football or if you, even a few chance. Like, right, granted, the pitch is going to make that difficult. And we're in like, a, a period where we've been on top for 10 minutes, forced a few set pieces or but we've literally had that goal, and that's it. Can't think of anything else in the game where we've actually got forward as a unit. We're very deep. There you go. This is football. They're talking about putting on Keith and Bill and taking Billy Mitchell off on the on the uh, commentary. I don't know what that's about. Whether they know something, I don't. Free kick for Millwall. Flicked up. Cleared away. Loose ball is picked up by Danny McNamara. He's travelling now. Round one, round two. Shoots from distance. Ooh. Oh, lucky Danny lad. Over the bar. So give, give the away fans something to shout about behind that goal. It'd be good, wouldn't it? A little bit of possession. And Danny Matt weren't fucking around then. He's gone on a bit of amazing run. Shot from distance. Struck it well. Just um, too high, but not like miles over. It wasn't rising either. Just sort of keep us sort of made a sort of token movement for it with Mamba. We're back in play again, and we are an hour in, sixty-one minutes. In fact, Peter Brunil, Mill one from London Road. Mill looking for back-to-back -back wins. Yes, is that correct? It is. Um, and people are looking to stop the rot after seven with no victory. I don't think they scored in like the last three as well, I think someone was saying to me. So if they don't score a day, jobs are good because they're losing. We will win the game. And here comes Mill and that's it. Come on. Let's have a little bit here. Here comes Billy Mitchell. Nice. That's better. Into a phobie. Ah, uh, Benick. 
That was better. Bill, really powerful running. Knocks into a phobia. Phobia should have made it stick, and he sort of tried to roll it all, like receive it and roll it off in one sort of touch and fucked it up. Give it away. Pompey, uh, Pompey, Posh come away, and George Evans commits a foul. Lots of fouls, lots of scrappy football, lots and lots of shit. The refs, the worst on the pitch. Andrew Roberts says it makes sense. We can't afford Billy to be suspended for future games. Yeah, well, he's, he's going to get booked again before the end of the season, isn't he? So he will get a suspension at some point. I would, would have thought. Um, vicious Lion YT. I'm doing all right, mate. I've got COVID, but not too bad. I'll be better if we score here. Jeb Wallace cuts back, goes in. Oh, keeper slides out. Keep looks like Sally Gunnell. What's going on? Barnet on it. Um, Sally Gunnell. What's an old school name from athletics? That is back in the day. And no, Steve, I wasn't an athlete before you start. Well, actually, it was. I used to do discus and shot put. I'm a fucking animal. Game's opening up a bit now. This is a bit more like it. Oh, giving away. Terrible playing. Oh, wouldn't accept it, though. A few 50-50s floating about now. It's living up, but not in the way I want it. So I want, I want a few little, you know, bit of movement, bit of fucking possession, bit of fucking encroachment on their goal. They're getting, they're getting their faces for a bit in their, in their areas. Crossed in, flicked on the front post. Wide, goal kick to Millwall. Still 1-0. Swansea 1, Forest 2-2. Two, two. Five carded. Sav and Keith for Billy and Evans. I think it would be risky to put them both in. I wouldn't switch both for sending me films at the minute. Why is my, my mum sending me fucking videos while I'm trying to watch? What's going on here, man? Come on, boys. No. I know what's happened, yeah? 1-1, one, one, innit? 1-1. One, one. Do you know what, Kev S, you fucked it for me. You fucked it for me because you put, for fuck's sake, for absolutely no reason. And um, you ruined that for me, mate. Thank you very much. I knew, that, I knew it was a goal. Pretty obvious when someone puts, for fuck's sake, and there's nothing, and the ball's in the centre circle, that something's coming in it, and it's 1-1. Ball over the top, so please don't put things in the comments until I've mentioned it, because all you've done is just fuck that for me there. Um, it's been coming, we've been shit, Peterborough have scored. 1-1, one, one. ball inside, straight down the middle of the pitch again. Number eight lofts it over the centre halves, brought down his chest, and uh, Balkowski comes out, but can't do enough, and it is 1-1, one, one. I can't lie, Peterborough have fully deserved their goal we have not been at the races we have been shit and it's peterborough one meal will one now we've got to try and try and win the game oh fuck so why are people reading shit for me in the comments but all the, i just don't give you to go on the comments i mean i know he hasn't said goal or but, but come on it's not fucking rocket science boys and girls is it it's not rocket science just don't say anything until it's gone in or i've said it's gone in and then we can then we can move on. But there you go. It's fucking coming when it's something right. I'm just going to not look at the comments. That's all I'm going to have to do because it's not going to ruin it for me. 1-1. Um, one, one. And Peter have scored for the first time in a long time. It's gone from, all right, well, we've not played very well, but we've won the game to we've been absolutely outplayed here and had one shot in the game. Um... But there is still time. Look at him. Look at all the Mill fans behind the goal as well. It's such a shame, isn't it? 65 minutes gone that they ain't going to get, like, you know, a couple of money. Still might get a couple of goals thrown at him. Maybe I'm doing this a disjustice, but at the minute, we've got more defending to do because here comes Peterborough. Again, oh, around the back of us now into the area. 
Cuts back. Oh, fuck. Cleared away momentarily. Get it out. Where, where the fuck are we, man? We're, sec- we're non existence at every second ball. Jed. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you, we're going to catch them on the break. I don't know how, but we're going to. We ain't going to keep coming forward if they can score a second. They'll still start defending. And they ain't get scored a second, but they might now. They're in the area. Cross back. Blocked by Bolkowski, corner. And they fucking think they're Brazil all of a sudden, Peter, right? Jesus Christ. How has he had the time and space to do that? No one's fucking closed him. Drew at bar. It comes with Bart's legs. Could have gone anywhere. Goes for a corner. And then they come again. Corner to Peterborough. Bart gets two hands on that one. Could be retrieved at the back post by a Peterborough player. Though. He's going to get the opportunity, because it's two on one, to get the ball back in, which they do. Flips on the front post. Two one Peterborough. Fuck me. Fuck's sake. Oh. Mate, we have been horrendous. We have been horrendous. They're just picking up every fucking second ball. Every second ball. We're winning every first one. Then they're picking up every second one. How have we allowed them to do that? Who was that that fucking missed that header? Jesus Christ. And the game spun on its head in fucking two minutes. The time they've been allowed to do that. I still can't see that he's threw a fucking header out and completely missed it. I don't know if it's Cooper or fucking Murray Wallace. But this is starting to really fuck me off. Then we are 2 1 down to Peterborough. I'm going to turn the volume up a bit on this. We've gone from winning the game comfortably. Well, no, sorry, it wasn't comfortably. We're still shit. But people have come from behind, turned the game on his head, and we are 2 1 down against a team that can't score any goals and haven't won a game in seven. Absolutely ridiculous. How long have we got to go here? I mean, we've still got 20 odd minutes. We're still more than capable of winning this fucking game. But if we we actually have got to turn up to do so, how can we be so good last week and go to so bad this week? Absolutely ridiculous. Huh. What's all these fucking long balls over the top? That's a foul in here as well. Someone's is that Bradshaw. We played with no confidence today, no fucking desire to go forward, couldn't string two passes together, we've been deep. They've just had so much of the play without really hurting us that eventually they was going to get their fucking shooting boots on and they scored two in five minutes. There you go. And the commentator just said, there's plenty of time to go in the game if Mill will just wake up. And that's the, that's the fucking own Mill commentary team saying it. So, you know, it's obvious it's there for all to see. Absolute joke. That second goal was an absolute joke, by the way. Corner's gone in. It's gone to the back post. They've just casually strolled over, recollected it, two of them, played one to the other, drifted across in. One of our defenders went flying past it like a sloppy shot by a sniper. I don't know if it's Cooper or Murray Wallace. I think it's Murray Wallace. The guy's just standing there, heads in, empty net. What the fuck? Oh, what have I done this stream today? What's going on now? If we if we concede the third goal, oh, it's, it's gone down as a Danny Mac own goal. I don't know what's happening now. I'm not looking at the comments anymore. Sorry, it's giving me the um. Well, now I think that we've. We conceded the third. Oh, it was going so well. I think the half-time cake's done it. I blame the cake. Mason Bennett. 
is coming on again. Someone already fucked that for me by saying Mason Bennett and Ojo are coming on. Shh. No more comments for me today. <coughs> I understand it's a live stream. I understand we're all here. But you've only got to wait for me to say, so Mason Bennett and Ojo are coming on, and then people can go, yeah, well, that's, that's not the right thing to do. I, I, please don't fucking... Am I not saying it right? I'm not, I, I'm not saying this right. Do not say in the comments something's fucking happened before I've said... It's happened. Am I not, what part of that am I, not, am I not saying right? I don't get it. Yeah, she's saying bollocks about something. No, that's how I feel. Oh, Mill still with the ball. Still with the ball. For, one of, for a few times in the game. Ball forward didn't work out from Jed. Now he's chased his own error and does well, really. Loose ball into the box. Strike! Oh, what happened there? Did he hit the bar? Or did it? It was a great save where it the bar couldn't work out which one it at from the from the angle. But Mill are uh, on the on the attack again. Crossed into the box, flicked on at the front post. Scott Malone keeps it alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, let's have a look at the replay. Jed like, sort of made a mistake, then tracked it, chased it down, done well to win it back. Loose ball falls to Bradshaw. Bradshaw strikes a great save from their keeper, really. It's funny because it went at funny angles. Then, however, it went sort of. The keeper jumps up and parried it, but it sort of went up in the air and across over the other side. So, wasn't sure whether it hit the bar. It's going to be a triple substitution. Mason Bennett, Shay Ojo, and Matt Smith are all coming on. Triple substitution incoming at London Road. Malone off. Jed Wallace off. So it's Jed Wallace, Benny Kofobe, and Scott Malone off. Matt Smith, Mason Bennett, and Shea Ojo on. There's a lot of talking going on amongst the players, sort of redirecting traffic. So it looks like we might have a little switch up in formation. I don't know. But... Look, we was winning the game one nil, and it wasn't really working. He's waiting till we're now losing for it to change it. Um, yeah. Fuck's sake. Just feel bad for the fucking fans that are gone. That would have been a brilliant atmosphere, wouldn't it? We got the fucking lead, and we didn't really deserve it. All we had to do was just turn up for the second half and have a little go. Instead, we've done literally fuck all in the game. Nothing. Ball over the top, chance of free one. It's a great ball, and just couldn't take any stride. It was similar to the ball played for the first goal, their first goal. We could have been further in trouble. Luckily, couldn't grab hold of it, and Bolkowski comes out and takes it off his toes. And we're all now back in possession. Ojo's on the ball. To Danny McNamara, Ojo's kept his run going. Danny Mac's pass doesn't find him. 15 minutes to go at London Road. We are losing 2-1 to Peterborough. This is shit. This is shit. <sighs> We've just got no fucking go in us today. I've seen this before when this has happened. Smith flicks it on to Bradshaw, who does well. 
Richie on the ball now. Pussy wide to Bennett. Bennett back into Mitchell. Mitchell to Murray Wallace. Murray Wallace tries to take his man on. Tackle. Throw on to Millwall. In line with the edge of the Peterborough penalty area. Murray Wallace again trying to take his man on. Again, it doesn't work out. Peterborough dispossess the Scottish man of possession, but Millwall got it back again. Danny Mack in the centre circle. Billy Mitchell now takes over. Wide to Ojo. Ojo's going to run his man. He's cutting the infield all day long until nobody's running yet. Does do. Loose ball from Ojo. He's not very good, Ojo, is he? Um, not, how is he livable, Vlad? You know I mean, oh, loose one. Could we pick that up? Keep us under pressure. Clears it. Come on, boys. Yeah, what was I saying earlier? Can't even remember. Can't even remember. Ball into the area. Matt Smith can't get on the end of it. Shea Ojo will kick, keep it in play. Cuts onto his left foot. Deliver. Deliver. Oh, come on, Ojo, man. Fuck me. He's blocked. Billy Mitchell now on the ball. Turns left and right. Nice bit of play. Moved on to Mason Bennett, who stumbles on the edge of the box. Refines his feet and shoots right footed, but it's blocked. And Peterborough now clear. Oh, no. Two on two at the back. We're going to sort that out. Yes. Foul. Foul. I'm going to start getting caught light at the back here. Beat Brooke. Fuck off, mate. Kick the ball away. You all right? We were just keeping the ball deep in our own half at the minute, trying to get out. It's been blocked. to throw on to us right on halfway. Murray Wallace going to take it quickly in front of Gary Rowitz. Rowitz on his feet and in his ear hole to Cooper. Cooper, long one. Can oh, Murray Malone. Oh, fucking not Malone. Matt Smith. If he could have flicked that on, he, 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 Ojo was coming in behind, but he sort of did win the header, but he hit it back in the other direction and it was picked up by a Peter a player. And once again, Posh come away with it. Over halfway, Jake Cooper goes out to his man. Fox is an error, and it's going to be a throw on to us. Peter think it's their throw, but it isn't. They've got a player down. He can fucking get up because we need to now get something out of this game. I mean, look, we don't need to get something out of this game. You know, we're safe this season. It's not as if it's a six-pointer at the bottom of the league. The rain is hammering down, by the way. Just fucking feel sorry for the people that have gone. So many people, I know, myself included, before I got here, I had this earmarks would be a right good... Christmas Day out, a few beers. And just so many of our fans behind that goal. It'd be great to fucking see them all go bananas, wouldn't it? If we can score a goal. But it's not over yet. We haven't, just haven't given a good account of ourselves. It's going to be a corner. Mason Bennett's put it there and lifted. He's pointing for someone else to come and take it. But Jed's off the pitch. Malone's off the pitch. I don't think anyone else is going to go over. So no, but Mason Bennett's had to walk back. And he looks like he really doesn't want to take this corner. Uh, front post. Cleared away. And Peter will run out of the back. Then Bele now on the turn. Waiting for a link up. Play gets it. Oh, dear. Come on, let it go. We're into the last 10 minutes of the game. And I'm sorry to tell you that it's not looking fantastic. Simon Patterson, I, sorry, I do apologise, but I can't risk being on the fucking comments when someone tells me that there's a goal or something like that. It's just going to drive me mad. So thank you very much, Simon. As always, very much appreciated. I've got some to clear up operation in here afterwards. Fucking ginger cake and fucking jam dodgers and cash everywhere. Oh, sorry. That's what I was going to say. I don't remember what I was going to say. 
this has happened a couple of points when we've had a good game. We like taking it to the next level, and then we've not. Here come Peter now. Chance for 3 1 shot blocked over. No, she's gone straight for a goal. And Rowitz actually blamed the players. Come out in the press and blamed the players and said, I don't understand what it is with them. There must be like a mental thing that they not want to take themselves to the next level. And you know, I'm not being funny. I'm inclined to fucking agree with me here because they're the same players that performed so well last week. What's changed? I don't understand what's changed. He can't physically be out there. He can only pick the team, the tactics, the set plays, and this worked brilliantly last week. So why, why shouldn't it work even better at a lower, at a worse team? There's been another donation, and it's from Christian Bastianelli, you legend over there in Belgium. Thank you very much, Christian, for your kind and ongoing commitments to Long Lions, Longs TV, Lions TV. I can't even fucking say my YouTube name today. Oh, this is really frustrating. This is really frustrating. As it stands, we're going to be fucking losing the game here. But anyway, it's not a long way home for people, really, is it? But it's just a, you know, there's a lot of people's Christmas drink today. You know? We don't go fucking the, the wrong way now. We've lost the game. And people are getting smashed to pieces. <laughs> it's more than likely going to happen. But oh, well, that's nothing to do with me. I'm indoors. Um, no fight, no pride. Yeah. Posh, a good home, says Andy Drawball. But I don't know, and At the minute... We've got opportunities to get something back. Ball into the box. Flicked on. Smothered by the Peterborough goalkeeper whose haircut is getting on my nerves more and more every time I see it. Uh, dear. Why? Why were we so good last week? Why were we so good last week? I'm usually the first one to blame the manager. What, what's different from last week? That he's picked everything the same against a worse side. We just have literally not turned up. You know, especially away from home. Our fans are going to be more vocal. There's loads of them. Should be a, a, an easier way to get up for the game. It's not, it shouldn't be less motivation. It should be more. Really poor today. Really poor. Sparky says, Posh can play football and keep possession. We can't. Other people are saying, Birmingham were just were poor, but they was. But we from the from the off, we was on we was on them, weren't we? Not good, boys and girls. Not good. But you take a last minute winner, a last minute equaliser in the rain when you're on a knee slide in front of the away fans right now. Even if we should have won the game, Ojo on the ball. Pussy wide, Murray Wallace advancing towards the edge of the box, crosses one in. Matt Smith goes for the volley. Chance at the back post. Finish it. Ah, oh, shoot. 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 Ah, oh, fucking hell, Ojo. You... Fuck. What's he doing? Fucking powder puff. Put your laces through it, you dick. Ball back in. Smith underneath it. Ah. Oh. <coughs> Ojo tries a pathetic little lob to go. What is that? Doing <clears throat> oh, Joe, fuck me. Martin Joy. Oh, Joe, more like, oh, no. <laughs> He's shocking, isn't he? Hello, Dan. Great show again. Listening to Paul 2 in Cornwall and Darren in Luton. Love Lions TV. Molly J chose Wall over Spurs and still reckons made the right call. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for tuning in. When you, I mean, I'm interested now and confused. Listening with Paul in Cornwall and Darren in Luton. So you got like a you got like your own chat that you that you join to then watch this one. It's not a bad idea. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah mate, it's just fucking 
Uh, well, you don't believe it. So you just... Uh, so people, again, look. People, we've obviously let in a third goal. People just do not fucking listen today. People just do not listen. Because it looks like we've let in a third. Goal kick. Billy Mitchell's fuming. He wanted a corner. He didn't get it. Oh. Roll it out. Some bio in. I'm coming off the comments, man. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Well, I battled it for COVID reasons. I battled it today. I thought, well, I'll just do it. It'll be all right. We'll get a result. I said 3-3. Three, three. We're currently 2-1 down. It could be 3-1. Who knows? Fucking, I don't really care anymore. It's just been an, it's just been an abysmal today. It's been a shambles. It's just not fucking on. Like, just the, the, just the levels to this week from last. Just absolutely fucking shocking. And I don't blame the manager because he's picked the same team. He's picked the same players. The only criticism I could have was, put, uh, if I call him Pompey one more time, I'm going to sack myself. Uh, posh. Peter, bro. They, you know, they kept, they dropped deep, they, in some little pocket of, pockets of areas, Smodich and Dembele, and I was seeing a lot of the ball. Two minutes to go. Danny Mack puts one up, flicks on. Go on, Murray Wallace cuts inside, delivers it. Header from, oh, Smith! You've got to score that, mate. He's got to score that. Do you know, he ain't scored for fucking ages, Matt Smith. I've noticed that. He stops actually used to come on and score. I don't think he's scored since Forrest. He's got to go across the keeper there. He goes across the keeper and he scores. Oh. Dear, dear, fucking, oh dear. Come on. People are attacking again now. Harry Wallace come back at his man. Fuck off. Murray Wallace wins a throw in by the corner flag. The rain is absolutely hammering down at London Road. Clear the way. Couldn't tell you one person that's played well. Couldn't tell you one fucking person that's played well for us. Not fucking one. Well, okay, one, Bart. You say Bart's played well. You could argue Bradshaw has. He hasn't anything to do. And there's one chance he got given, he scored. Other than that, fuck me. This has been nothing short of horrendous. Dear, dear, dear. Well, there is boys at the game, so there is going to be videos. Hope, well, hopefully, maybe I'm not sure if that's hopefully or not. It wouldn't be a bad thing if you just got left. Oh, ball forward, flicks on in the area. Bradshaw looks to turn, knocks it back to Danny McNamara. Danny McNamara to Ojo goes for the overlap. Ojo, can this come kick the ball? Sorry, ball in. Oh, fresh air shots. Can he kick the ball properly? I was going to say, Ojo, he doesn't seem like he can kick the ball properly. But he's like his weird little cross somehow. Found Evans, who sort of tried to help it on in one motion. And he's fuming with himself, Evans. It wasn't really his fault. He was unlucky. He helps it on, and it was just Bradshaw just behind him. And that is... Yeah, that is 90 minutes up. We're in one minute, we're in one minute already of four additional. And Matt Smith now trying to run down the left back who's come away with a ball. 
Smith blocks it, and it's going to be a throw on to Peterborough deep inside their half. Mm, end this hell, please. And that's the bucket complete, please. Just to drag out our fucking pain even further. There is a Peterborough player down. If you just get up, mate, we can fucking blow the whistle and go home there if that's right. Well, I already am home. Um, oh. Well, I'm going to take comfort in the fact now that I didn't go to the game. And I really wanted to go to the game. And I'll be fuming if I was there today. On the back of that. It's not over yet, but it is. We haven't looked like fucking being in the game since the minute it kicked off, to be honest. Fuck off, Richard Cowley, you fuck. Pucks and tweets. It's my fault for having your tweets on notification. I don't need it right now, Rich. All right, free kick, Peter Ryder. Game surely is over now. In fact, you can tell me if the game's over. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I'm guessing it is. Let's go down to the comments. Just disgraceful. Come on, wall. Only result today. Glad I'm better. Thank you very much. Come on, wall, for fuck's sake. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Just disgraceful, mate. Isn't it? Kick was out to take the kick. I am losing the will to live. Please. Four minutes added time it was. We've got to be in like the last minute of that now. Only Mac running over halfway. Oh, Joe now. Can he get the ball into the box? One last attempt. Crop blocked. Corner. Oh, Joe's going to take the corner. I'd love to see but Bart come up and score. It'd be the best thing ever. Corner for Mill, one last chance. Ojo puts it up, back post, header over the bar. Uh, bodies everywhere, players down. That's fucked, isn't it? Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Rodney, what have you done? Fair play to everyone to travel, man. Fucking ridiculous. Great show again, says Richard Abraham. I don't know about that one, mate. I've had a go today. Fucking at least I turned out. The players didn't. They must all have COVID as well. <sighs> Blow the fucking whistle, mate. Come on, I need to lay down there. Game's still going. Bart's coming out, clears it. Loose ball picks up by Peter, bro. Game's still going, by the way. Free kick to Peter, bro, isn't it? Fuck sake. Jimmy Legend. Paul, you're welcome. Yeah, it's full time. It's just come up on my um, news at Den Twit, which is weird because I'm not their tweets on fucking notification. But there you go. I haven't actually seen into the game yet, but the game is over. Um, shocking, shocking performance. Now it is over. And I'll be very interested to say what the manager's got to say about that. Um, I'll do a quick full-time reaction now if you want to watch that. If you've had enough pain for one day, I don't blame you, but there should be reaction from the boys at the ground as well. That was an absolute disgrace. 
and I'm glad I didn't I didn't go. Fair play to the people that did travel. You must be fuming. And uh severe la- uh, severe lot of inconsistency was a lack of it. A lack of consistency continues. We lose two one on the road at Peterborough. Haven't won in seven. Haven't scored in four. Come on, you Lions. I need to lay down. Sorry. 